so it's uh, Sunday, December 7, 2014. I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, I'm positive. I have so many good things going on in my life. I have problems like everybody else, but I have so many, so much positive energy in my life that I feel that I'm going to overcome my issues. I'm not better than anybody. I'm not um, on a high horse. I just feel that I'm gonna allow positive energy to continue to guide me. You know, I'm not going to bring outside parties into my negativity unless I have made the change from within to correct my own mistakes. Because when I'm ready to correct my own mistakes, that means I'm not planning to make the same mistakes again. So therefore, I can ask for help because I know this won't happen again. So until I can go ahead and say that, my negative issues that I'm not ready to change, I cannot ask outside parties for help. You follow me? But um, sometimes you catch me on Facebook and I may say things that offend you. I am personally apologetic. If anything that I say offends you, that is never my intent to offend. You know, I just try to give a different perspective and certain times I get heated in the moment and I react badly and if I do that I also truly apologize you know especially now with this whole tension with racism Mike Brown people get mad at me because they say Darren you try to side with the cops you want to side with the cops you don't ever take the side of somebody who looks like you and you know what uh, maybe I don't convey myself properly but there's a reason why I say what I say. Because you know what? It's not about defending police. I'm going about the wrong way, obviously, because people aren't understanding where I'm coming from. I think it is important that we understand where they're coming from. Because I feel right now it's so much it's so much heat on both sides that we are in an argument. Not me and you, but like us versus them kind of thing, we we are arguing. And when you argue with somebody, nobody is listening to each other. And we need to listen to what they're saying. Why? Because when somebody has a gun pointed at me, I better respect where they are coming from. I better understand what they want from me so I don't get shot, because I don't want to die. I don't want you to die. Because once we're dead, we can't, un we can't unravel that. We can't bring ourselves back. You can't bring somebody back from the dead. So I think it's important that we understand where they're coming from. In a civil manner to understand how can we avoid this repeat cycle from happening. Because I don't care about the aftermath. I don't care if a cop goes to jail or you go to jail for murder. I don't care about you going to jail. Because the life that's taken cannot be replaced. So I better listen to where a person is coming from who has a gun pointed at my chest or my head, you know, or, or my vital organs. I'm not trying to be paralyzed or, or, or crippled because I didn't listen. And I didn't try to get to the bottom of how to avoid issues from happening again and that it happened to others. I feel every time somebody, I don't care about race, they get hurt, they get shot, they get murdered, they become crippled. I believe every time this happens and we do not sit down and come to some kind of understanding on how do we proceed forward with each other, I feel a person was murdered, crippled, maimed, in vain. Because we haven't learned from it yet. The argument is not going to make anybody listen. The trials would not make anybody listen. The tension is not going to make anybody listen. The protests are not going to make people listen. We need to honestly come together, both parties, both sides, and figure out a way to prevent people from getting murdered and shot and, and, and just have their lives either ended or just seriously disrupted behind a single second.
And until we can do that, I just feel that I need to keep reiterating that our outlook isn't helping something, something to improve. Our outlook is not working. So we need to change our outlook and engage situation in different light so we do not keep having this repeating cycle going on. I don't want to see people shot and killed. I don't want to see black, white, Hispanic, Indian, uh, Korean, Japanese, Turkey, you know, Polish, German. I don't care where you're from, nationality, your race, your sex, your creed, your religion, your origin. I don't care about none of that. I care about all of us living fruitfully, enjoying life with our families. Because I want to make it home every single day. And I want you to make it home every single day. I don't want you to go to jail. I don't want you to go to prison. I don't want you to get hurt or have to hurt somebody else. I want us to get along. Not, not some bogus utopia that's never actually going to happen, but us to get along to the point where we respect each other's space and privacy. And when things go wrong, we come together as a unit, not black, not white, not Hispanic, none of that shit, but come together as a unit to say, hey, that was wrong. We want justice. Hey, that white guy got shot by the cops. We all want justice. No, oh my God. He's white, so he's okay. No, no, he's black. You know, they got the NAACP. They, they're criminals. None of that shit. When something negative happens, we either stand up, united as one, or we die divided. That's all I got to say about that. Think about it.